step squeaks. Someone must have taken the note. The note is gone. Archery. Let's see now. There's a strong wind from the left. Way there. Bullseye. Now all I need is a 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 bullseye. Well, that was a successful practice. you aunt Catherine very well thank you how have you been very well also Jane since mr. Radcliffe is dining with us would you create one of your charming flower centerpieces for us I noticed the flowers in the courtyard are looking particularly beautiful today certainly I would be glad to thank you so much it will make supper that much more pleasant 
I think you will find a pair of garden shears and some ribbon in the foyer. I will attend to the arrangement right away. flowers. This is just right. Hello, Miss Darcy. Would you like for me to take care of those for you? Oh, yes. Do please, Martha. These are for the centerpiece for this evening's supper. They look beautiful. I will get them in water right away. Thank you so much, Martha. As usual. Nothing. See you later. to get an early start, so I should tell Martha to wake me. Yes, miss. Could you be sure to waken me at seven? I'll remember to wake you. Thank you so much. Sleep well. Thank you, Miss Darcy. Good morning, Miss Darcy. It is the time you requested that I awaken you. Ah, thank you so much. You are a dear, Martha. Your governess asks that I remind you that today is archery practice. An excellent idea. Anything else, miss? Martha, could I have my breakfast in bed this morning? Very well, miss. Thank you, Martha. My pleasure, miss. Mmm, cookout did herself. Mmm, 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 delightful. Is there anything else, miss? I think I am fine for now. Very well, miss. Thank you. 
love archery. Let's see now. There's a wind from the right. Halfway there. is a bullseye. Now all I need 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 is a bullseye. Ah, a bullseye. Well, that was a successful practice.
bullseye. Love archery. Let's see now. It's nice and calm. Ah, a bullseye. Ah, a bullseye. Ah, a bullseye. Halfway there. a successful practice.
Did you ring, miss? Yes, Martha. Will you have the groom ready my horse? I plan to do some riding. Yes, miss. You are all ready, Captain. Good morning, Jane. Did you hear that there was a hold up in Shepwood Forest again? What? Are you certain? Yes, the people who were robbed had rooms here last night. Did they say anything about the highwaymen? They said they were French ruffians, but charming ruffians. When the lady told them that her rings had been her mother's, the leader, Captain Mephisto, said that he would take a dance instead. So he waltzed her around the carriageway and sent them on with her valuables intact. A gentleman bandit? Who would have imagined? I thought they only existed in novels. It seems so romantic. I almost wish I was the one held up. Was Pierre here all day yesterday? He was here in the morning, but things got busy, so I'm not sure if he was here the rest of the day. But I did hear that the highwaymen made off to a Ramsford Bridge after the hold-up. I think I will ride over and check the bridge in Shepwood. You are so brave. Take care and let me know if you find any gentlemen bandits. Ha ha ha. Merci, Kitty. Adieu. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Darcy. Bonjour, Monsieur Robouchier. It has been my experience that highwaymen are not the only dangers to be faced when traveling in England. Pray tell. I had a most startling experience when traveling here from Overstone. It seems the trip is completely dependent on the whims of nature on the tides. The tides? Mais oui, it seems the coachmen have determined that racing across the Lancaster Suns at low tide is the only way to make the journey. To accomplish this, the coachman burst into my bedroom at five in the morning, shouting, Make haste, make haste, for God's sake, make haste. Having been rousted from a sound sleep, I assumed the inn was on fire, or something equally dire. However, he continued with, the tide is out. If you delay, we shall all be drowned. At this point, I could imagine the tide racing into my chambers and drowning us all. But no, it was simply that he wanted to take a shortcut across the Lancaster Sands, which was only available at low tide. Mon Dieu, at this point, I'm not certain if French bandits would not be preferable to English coachman. <laughs> Indeed. I believe both would be a disquieting experience. It does seem adventure follows you. Au revoir again. Au revoir.
I want to see what can be found in Shepwood Forest. My dearest Jane, we received your letter today and I wanted to let you know that Papa says thank you for getting the date for him. He needed the date as some questions have come up about the will of Mr. Lamley. It seems someone has been making inquiries about the time remaining for heirs to come forward. Everything is going well here. In many ways I wish you had stayed, but I know how much you miss Pemberley. By the way, how is Clement's oppression? This question arises as before we left, Clement asked your father if we could have some of the paintings in the gallery changed for something fresh, lively to relieve his oppression. I don't know when I have been so diverted. Your father, of course, had no objection, however I don't believe he was as amused as I. Papa and I both send our love, Mama. My dearest Jane, Something has come up and your father needs the date on the will of Mr. Lamley. The will is located in the library with your father's business papers. All Papa needs is the date, so if you could put that in a note and get it into the post today, that would be perfect. Also, I found a charming book on horsemanship that I thought you would love, so I have sent it on ahead as I could not wait for you to have it. Love, Mama. This is the inventory list of the paintings for the Mr. Lamley estate. 
Since Papa is the executor, those paintings should be here at Pemberley, either on display or stored in the attic. Why should Clement have this list? It should be with the other Mr. Lamley papers. This is set for today's date. I'd better write this down. This looks like the key to the attic. Why would Clement have this? I believe some of the paintings on this list were being displayed in the gallery. This is strange. Even for Clement, I think I hear someone coming. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt your composing. Make yourself easy. My train of thought is gone. Nothing. See you later.
This is my brother William's room. He's away at school. Looks like the doorknob is missing. I have always loved exploring our attic. <laughs> 